Just a couple of random thoughts on the retirement of Andrew Luck. First and foremost, man, what a tremendous um, player he was. Um, what a tremendous human being he is. Uh, I understand the physical and, and mental challenge of overcoming and playing through injuries and losing athleticism and losing ability. There's a couple of things that really wear heavy on your heart. I think, you know, everybody can understand physically how exhausting it is to constantly be rehabbing an injury, to never feeling up to what you once felt like, to always have to adjust your game, to always reestablish what your new 100% is because you can no longer do the things you used to be able to do. Um, as an offensive lineman, it was probably easier because, you know, frankly, we're the worst athletes on the football field. Not that guys that play offensive line aren't exceptionally gifted athletes, but when it comes to professional football, we are far and away the last rung on the ladder. We are the worst athletes on a football field. So you can make up with, um, make up for a lack of athleticism sometimes just by understanding the game. But when you're required to use your athleticism to throw a ball accurately, to drive off your feet and you know create rotational force and all of a sudden you can no longer do those things, well, you can't be as good as you once were and you can't um, you can't make all the throws and do all the things that are required of the position that you happen to play. So that's a really difficult thing for anybody to overcome physically, but mentally it's probably worse when you know what you used to be and you are just constantly exhausted from having to get up to rehab to continue to do these things and you continue to see your athleticism diminish. That is a really tough thing mentally to deal with. The other thing that's really hard mentally when you're injured all the time is you feel like a pariah within your own organization. You're not part of it. We used to have an offensive line coach, or I used to have an offensive line coach. When somebody got hurt, he used to just say, that guy is dead. We can no longer count on that guy. He's dead to us. We have to move on. And you feel that way as an injured player. You're constantly around the guys, you see the guys, but they're out doing their thing. They're going to their meetings. They're, they're going out to their practice. And what you're doing is you're working to try to get yourself right so you can be there. And you just don't feel like you're a part of it. And that's a difficult thing to overcome mentally. You feel like you don't belong. And that is not only you know a physical task, but a mental task that you're dealing with as a player. So those things are really hard. I think one of the things that's really cool about Andrew Luck and just saying, hey man, I've had enough, I'm, I'm done, I'm going to retire. And everybody points to the money and oh, he's made plenty of money. And, and I don't even think about that. That didn't even cross my mind. The bottom line is um, every one of us at some time in our lives, we're gonna kind of face our work mortality, if you will. Um, we are gonna be ousted, we're gonna be cut. We're going to be downsized. We're going to be pink slipped. Uh, something is going to happen and um, we're going to be bounced from the current job that we are in. And I think this is an important factor for Andrew Luck and the reason that he can walk away. Yeah, he's sad and yeah, he's emotional, but the reason he can walk away and feel good about where he's at and at peace with what he has done and where he's at is because if you don't get your identity from what you do for a living, um, you're going to be okay. The problem with most, and, and I'm, I'm, now maybe I'm painting this with too broad a brush, but I think with most people in our society is they identify um, with what they do. That's how they get their identity. That's where they get their self-worth. And when you identify as, as you identify yourself with what you do, when that gets taken away from you, you are going to struggle. You're gonna have a tough time with it. You're gonna fall into depression and all those different things. So many guys that I've played with in the past identify as football players. Well, what happens when you're no longer a football player? It's a difficult thing to deal with. And so my hope and, and what I feel about Andrew is he doesn't identify as a football player. You know, you have to identify with other things that make you who you are. Uh, you identify as a husband, as a father, as a child of God, as a disciple of Christ Jesus. Those are the things that you ground yourself in so that you don't identify with what you do for a living. Man, there's a big difference between what you do and who you are. 
and establishing and having a good healthy sense of who you are as opposed to what you do will really help you as you transition from one job to the next, from one career to the next. So for Andrew Luck, it's been a pleasure watching you the last seven years. It's, um, it has been an honor to, to watch you play the game. Um, appreciate what you've done. And um, I tell you what, all the, all the best in the future because obviously he's super smart and, and uh, Andrew Luck is gonna be fine.